Three people were arrested this week after a multi-agency drug investigation. Stanley Holty and Julia Lloyd were arrested in Coon Valley on police charges of possession with intent to deliver methamphetamine and fentanyl. According to police, two pounds of meth were found in Holty's car when he was arrested for an OWI. A passenger in the car, Damien Reinsbold, was also arrested for possession of drugs. Lloyd was arrested at her home, where police found three more pounds of meth and $49,000 in cash. Police say Holty had been supplying drugs to people in La Crosse, Vernon, Crawford, and Monroe counties in Wisconsin, and Houston County. In Minnesota, law enforcement Law enforcement found a total of more than five pounds of meth and more than 31 grams of fentanyl during their investigation. Both Lloyd and Holty are being held on a $500,000 cash bond in Vernon County. It's never too early for education. A new exhibit at the Children's Museum of La Crosse is about to inspire future mechanics. At the end of this week, kids can test their gearhead skills at the new Doll Express Tire and Auto Center exhibit. Children can use pint-sized tools to fix a car on a lift. The exhibit has kids-safe wrenches, lug nuts, and oil-changing supplies. One of Dahl's leaders says he knows how important it is for kids to learn by doing. I see how my kids learn you know, with the hands-on, tactile exhibits um, where they can really get in and use their hands and um, experience uh, how to work with tools and how to work on a kid-sized car. The exhibit opens to the public on Friday. La Crosse area hospitals are running low on blood supply. Versity Blood Centers, which supplies hospitals like Gunderson Health System, is hosting a blood drive today to stock up. Versity officials say donors are essential right now. We are in an emergency appeal for blood where we are less than a day and a half of, um, less than a day's supply of blood currently. So we are hosting a blood drive to make sure we have a stable and ready blood supply for our community hospitals. Donors can go to Gunderson's clinic in Onalaska from nine in the morning to two in the afternoon. Construction is complete on a roundabout in Onalaska. The city announced in a press release that the new roundabout at the intersection of East Avenue and Riders Club Road will be open to traffic beginning tomorrow, June 16th. According to the release, the roundabout has a new compact design that is semi-truck friendly. The city asks that all drivers be careful at this intersection for a couple of weeks so everyone can get used to the new traffic patterns. In honor of World Elder Abuse Awareness Day today, the Aging and Disability Resource Center of La Crosse County is hosting an Elder Abuse Awareness Walk. The walk will take place at Riverside Park at 10 in the morning. If you plan on participating in the event, organizers encourage you to wear purple to show your support against elder abuse. Registration isn't required, but is encouraged. For more information, we have a link on news8000.com. And as you head out the door this morning, temperatures are going to warming up. Our temperatures will be warming up into the 60s here in the next couple of hours, and that will continue through at least late morning, followed by the 70s uh, this afternoon. Highs into the upper 70s, low 80s late this afternoon under mostly sunny skies. A bit on the hazy side, however, temperatures remain seasonable today. Northerly winds also in place for the day tomorrow. 82 and mostly sunny. That haze will move out as those winds shift out of the east, and we'll be looking at highs into the upper 80s to low 90s as we head into next week under mixed sun and clouds. So, well, get ready for a pretty hot week here next week, it looks like. And if only we could get rid of the haze. Yeah, from well, just after today, we'll be, we should be okay. So, Good to hear. Thanks, yeah. Derek. And thank you for watching News 8 Now. Don't forget to keep up with the news of the day on news8000.com. We'll have the latest updates to today's top stories on News 8 Now at noon. Have a great morning, everyone, and thank you for watching News 8.